Perfect, right under the mower. Eugene Levy's Wacky World of Miniature Golf. You guys, I... Y'all? I apologize in advance. This is something very few people have experience with, this game. I... Yeah. Alex and I certainly did. Oh, boy. We first saw this game around a decade ago when our friends from Kentucky and a few other folks from around the country came to my apartment and played CDI games for a week. That's the thing that actually happened back in the 2000s. We, uh, we didn't have the internet. If you wanted to see CDI games, you had to come to my house. I hope you're ready to laugh. Because if you were around for not ready to laugh. If you were around for tonight's pre-show, uh, we showed off a little bit of Cybermania 94, a, a TBS awards show for video games, starring Leslie Nielsen and Jonathan Taylor Thomas, you know. Music by Herbie Hancock. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, they awarded Best Comedy to The Wacky World of Miniature Golf, starring Eugene Levy, beating out competition from Dennis Miller's That's News to Me on the 3DO. Ooh, ooh, cursed game! Yeah. That's a cursed fucking game. That's a cursed game. Also cursed, this. Ah! Turn that up. The good old days, when miniature golf was a quaint but risky pastime. The problem was, either it was too hot or too wet or too cold or too dangerous. But that was then. Bees are the worst part and of And this golf. is now. Hey, greetings, putters. I'm Rollo the Goofball. <laughs> I mean, golf ball. Welcome golf. to Wacky Golf, the miniature golf theme park that picks up where the other golf courses leave off. You're about to enter a fully enclosed, climate-controlled marvel of CDI mini golf technology, and I'll be your guide. Prepare to experience 18 of the world's toughest holes. But in the comfort of your own living room. How about that, huh? <laughs> so, let's go play. Tickets, please. Yeah! Thanks for reminding me, you oversized can opener. Sorry about the delay. Now, here we go. One, two, three, four! Welcome to the clubhouse, your first stop at Wacky Golf. This is where you'll get everything you need for that first tee up. So look around if you like. You can take a little demo tour of the park. Use our practice hole to, uh, well, you know, to, uh, the practice. <laughs> Resume your previous game if you've played here before by going right out onto the golf course. Sign in for a new game or Leave and go back to where you came from before you got here. <laughs> Just move your golf ball cursor to wherever you want to go and press an action button to start. Leave and go back to where you came, Eugene Levy. For here is where comedy dies. If you loved Eugene Levy in SCTV and are sad about what has become of him since, this will make you even sadder. Welcome to hell, everyone. I'll be your guide. Let's play some mini golf. At Wacky Golf, up to four players can play together. Write in the name of the first player what should my name be? by using the keyboard of uh, letters over to the hold, right. Hold, just just okay. move your golf ball um. to the first letter and press an action button. And if you can't remember your God, name, he... make one up. <laughs> but make in one all up. seriousness, folks, oh you can God, only use three up, letters dude. to identify each player. Once you're finished, <laughs> the next player can sign in. And the next, and the next, etc., etc. <laughs> Up to four. I figure if you got more than three friends, you can Stop. the rest of them another time. If you need help at any time, just press on the question mark. If you make a mistake, press on the undo button. And if you want to return to the clubhouse, move your golf ball to the clubhouse sign and press an action button. And when all the players have entered their names, click on the done sign. You done? Oh my you, god. You done here? 
You think that required a little bit more explanation there? <laughs> so people are recommending sex and poo. I recommend sad. That's a good one. Sad. Sad. That sounds about right. When you're sad, you go to the mini golf okay, park. Okay, number two goes after number one. You're next. We're done. <sighs> no. Let's hit the links. But who should we be? Voila! Now that you've signed if you in, see a favorite, here's where you get to shout choose your stand-in golfer. And let me tell you, these are 12 of the miniature golf world's finest athletes. Once you've made your choice, whenever you see your golfer in the game, it's your turn to putt. To select your golfer, just move your golf ball to the one you want and press an action button. Who's it gonna be? We got I, I quite keep, a motley selection of characters I, here. I keep thinking I can turn the audio down, and then he he keeps talking. Yeah, that's the I thing. I hate him. So we got the pretty blonde lady. We got uh -huh. the uh, the rotund golfer. Got this other lady. I do like this music right now, though. Little kid, a, a very tiny clown. Small clown. Oh, he's poor too. A lady with a face like an anteater. Nice. I, I don't know what's up with that. A Burger, King little girl. Kids Club. a Burger King Kids Club member, yeah. Caveman. Lady with ice cream. An old man. And 70s a dude Rocky from the Vision. 70s. Yeah. Now serving sad. So do we have a favorite, Alex? Who emerged as the favorite among our uh, our contestants here? Or does anyone give a shit? <laughs> um we got we got people saying gotta be the cool kid, oh, got on, some people for one. Remember, he who oh, has a day to lost. And let me tell okay, you, I think they want one of the ladies. Here, there's eight okay. holes you can fall in. <laughs> I think everyone wants everyone wants everybody. I kind of want Annie or Lady. Do we see any in, votes? Yeah, I think Annie or Lady with the ice. With, yeah, Annie. Okay, Lady. Eugene Levy is drowning me out again, so I'm just going to pick like the lady. Carts, so start walking. <laughs> <laughs> Best comedy of 1994. The maid in the USA hole. You know, if you don't shoot far in this hole, you'll soon be putting in Taiwan. <laughs> Trade joke. Oh, boy. Oh, You got any dude. more? <laughs> God. So, yeah, there's 18 holes, all with a unique theme. Here's the fucked up part. This isn't golf. This is an FMV game in disguise. Uh, you can either put left, right, or forward. And what determines your success or failure is all timing. It depends on which animation frame you push the button on. And it often makes no sense at all, and the shots are often very counterintuitive, and the game is as frustrating as hell. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Hey? Uh oh. So yeah, every single shot in this game is a joke. Let's try shooting forward. There we go. All right, setting up for another shot here. Again, no skill. It's all timing. You have to getting good at this game in theory would require like memorizing the animation frames that you need to hit the ball on. That wasn't no. the right frame. That was not the right frame. Thanks. Yeah, it's possible to get your ball destroyed, and when that happens, you start the hole over. How about that? Oh. Do you think it'll be destroyed? I don't know. I think we have a good chance. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. A lot of unique death scenes in this one, if the, if that's what you're into in FMV games. There's a ton of them here. Okay, so shoot the first one straight. Uh, do you think I should shoot this one left or right? Or up the middle? For me, I'd go to the middle, but I know that that's probably not what it wants. You never know. You never know. I'll hit this one to the right. Did we do that last time? Or? I think we hit it forward. Huh? Ah! Did Yay! It. Oh. 
Sorry, buddy, you're a wimp. Well, at least we beat the hole. 17 to go. Seven, 17 holes. Help me. <laughs> Please. I'm sad. Oh, God. The this hole is great. Soup hole. The hole lets us snap the play. So make your shot very carefully and try not to hook it. Hook it. <laughs> Eugene Levy's already lost it by the second hole. This is a good sign. So, this hole is a personal favorite. Uh, this was one of our favorites we saw when we uh, first played it many years ago at a party. I hope you will also enjoy it. Ah, yes, I remember that very distinctly. Get ready to see that a few more times. Hey! Did it! Hey! Holy crap! This is it, the best scene. How's the wife? Well, uh... <laughs> so, Alex, how's the life? Well, uh... <laughs> so that's that's something I quote a lot. Yeah. yeah. I... That's, uh, that's just one of those things. More that's... BBH is just screaming, fuck off repeatedly. <laughs> and I'm genuinely with him here. Bringing back bad memories. Yeah, this, uh, this yeah, game's Delroy full of them. Yeah, Delroy and everyone's like, oh, The American yes. Dream Hole. Ah, the American Dream. The split-level home. The two-car garage. The high-powered rifle under the front seat of the car. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this, huh? Road rage, am I right, folks? <laughs> oh. All right, this this one's pretty good too. <laughs> I hit the dog. Actually, doing pretty well. It's possible to get in a loop and just have the game blow up in your face over and over again. That hasn't happened just yet. Let's see how long that takes. Oh. That dog needs more animation frames. Now. Damn that dog. Okay, we'll wait till he's off the screen. There. No dog. This. The true wacky world of miniature golf starts here. Uh, Tepid Snake says, Dog is OP, please nerf him, Eugene Levy. And I agree. I'm going to be writing some letters to Eugene Levy and letting him know. This dog is stopping me cold. This is... Okay, what that's, the... that's great. Okay, that counts as a death, so we're restarting that hole. Perfect. Right under the mower. Second shot, don't hit right. Right? Or did I hit left? I think you hit left last time. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's try right. No, it was right! Oh, okay. It's left, it's left, sorry. That was my bad. It's left. There. What? Stroke limit! You've reached the stroke limit. You can press the give up sign and go to the next hole, or you can stay in play. No pain, no gain. But remember, now that you've reached the stroke limit, your score for this hole is final. Stroke limit! You've reached a stroke limit! <laughs> Looks like you're getting frustrated. Isn't this game shit? Looks like this game sucks! You wanna move on? Play something better? Like Mutant Rampage Body Slam? It's got... it's got titties! Do you see what I mean now? Yeah. That, isn't that game great compared to... This, which is, this game I'd say is representative of the CDI's library. There are so many games like this. It's honestly a crime. How? I hit it right. Sh shit ass dog! Sorry to. <laughs> Sorry to any lover. children listening. Sorry to any dogs listening. 
And it's this point you start wondering, uh, is it worth getting to the end of the hole for whatever animation and quip from Eugene Levy awaits at the end? Or do you just move on? Do you skip? That's the question we're now weighing here. Is the joke worth the endless frustration? I have managed to equip a homing golf ball that just zooms in on the nearest dog and strikes it every single time. We're moving on. I don't like this. You don't like this I'm hole? already getting frustrated. This is what, hole three? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're sick of like hitting this dog repeatedly. We, huh? we gotta move on. We gotta move on. I'm sorry, oh, everyone. I failed you. Bad. Let's see if the next player can do any better. Because I'll tell you, he can't do any worse. <laughs> <laughs> and at every misstep, Eugene Levy is there to talk shit on you. Yeah, I need to move faster. Than clips. But oh. don't mess with my bike hole. Hey, man. What are you doing on my street? No, I'm gonna pretend you're just lost or something, Daddy-O. Give you till three to beat it, or you get stomped, okay? One? Uh, what comes after one? Okay, okay, one, three, now burn rubber, kid! Alex, don't mess with my bike hole. My bike hole is my business. Here we are in a motorcyclist's ghost town. <laughs> My bike hole! Oh! Hey! Holy cow, hey! Damn it. Hey! We might do this. Oh man, I remember this. Get I ready do. to see this I a do. lot. I do, I do. I'm turning it down a little because it. Yes! What the fuck, Danny? You're doing so good! Oh, it's so excited! Oh my god, it's coming! It's <laughs> I was being more subtle there, Alex. <laughs> but I guess I guess it's hard to restrain your enthusiasm for something like this. Dan from Twitch, yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, we've I seen. Know. I'm sorry. I just. We've seen I'm, so much tonight. I'm We're... a man who will just speak my mind. I don't care about the consequences, and I will just scream about. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God, sorry. it's coming. All on the wrong side of the track. Hey, wow. Who cares why the chicken crossed the road? The question is, are you too chicken to cross the hole on the wrong side of the tracks? <laughs> off the rails sorry folks i've seen holes on the right side of the tracks and on the wrong side of the tracks danny you just levy <laughs> we are i am so <laughs> glad i marked this stream as mature many months ago because this is this is for mature audiences only only they would get the humor in wacky world of miniature golf uh okay danny are you chicken or will you take on the hole on the other side of the track <laughs> Gotta be a real man to take on that. God damn it. I... <laughs> Too much hole talk here. Ease off the holes. God! Okay, well. Oh, I remember this one. I do too. I hope I get this. I did it! What the hell? This is like a blessed game! It is! <laughs> damn right. Now, what you didn't know is that there were high stakes there. Uh, if you miss that shot, the train runs over your golfer, and you get sent to heaven where you have to complete the hole there. Oh, I remember that! Mm hmm A lot of different ways these holes can play out, and yet it mostly turns out the same. Frustrating. The Lost Hole of Atlantis! You know, the they call secret Atlantis hole of them the missing all. continent, but if they'd had miniature golf, how much could they have been missing? You know, gee... <laughs> oh, I wish they let me write these jokes. Oh, man. That's a, that sound I made was just the sound of all the bad memories coming, flying back. We are screaming about Eugene Levy in chat, and... You should be. You should be angry at him. If you thought you weren't angry at Eugene Levy before tonight's stream, now you have a reason to be. Please don't harass Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy is a fine man. I'm blaming this more on Phillips than him. Oh, it's that. He just Phillips. he just had to read his script. He, now. like all people, needed money to survive. So and no, some... no, 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 no. <laughs> Shit. 
Here we go. This is where the this is where it starts. The best part is when you get sent back to the beginning of the hole and you start to run into things that you didn't run into the first time. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm gonna try and shoot forward. I'm guessing you shouldn't shoot to the right. Yes! Oh my god, Danny! Welcome to Atlantis! You've beheld the wonders of Atlantis. You will now forget all that you have seen. Repeat this phrase. Atlantis does not exist. Atlantis, Atlantis does, not, does exist. not exist. The CDI is the best gaming platform. That's why we play it every week. Alex, we're changing our format. Every week we will play the Philips CDI. I enjoy the CDI, pals. Me too. The hole in the ozone layer. Oh, that's if you're with a date, it's yeah. a great place to break the ice. Oof. Rough chuckles. Uh, climate change, am I right, folks? Oh, that's not... <laughs> well, let's get this shit show started. I, it's a bear. Hmm, interesting uh, info from uh, Abby here. Uh, the game was developed by Philip Sidewalk Studio, which also did the Berenstein Bears on their own, which... Oh my god, so we do have experience with this developer. Uh, we did have a run-in with the Berenstein Bears about a year ago. There's an archive up on our YouTube channel if you want to see it. We didn't really like what they had to say. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, I am doing surprisingly good. That Eskimo was the most poorly drawn thing I've ever seen, oh my god. Okay, no, this is the most poorly drawn thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Everybody all aboard the party sub. <laughs> We're going to the hole in the ozone layer. Oh. So what do you think? If I sold you on a CDI, do you, all of you want to buy a CDI right now? Because this is the only way you can play this game. You can't play it anywhere else. I really do like that sub. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. That sub was actually... There's moments in this game that aren't grating or horrible, and <laughs> you, you learn to live for those moments. Those moments where you go, oh, that was that was a joke. Good. I can Remember recognize jokes? that as a joke. <laughs> Humor does exist in this world. Uh. One million years BG before golf. Oh. Oh. How early man invented fire, invented the wheel, invented excuses for missing a two-foot putt. <laughs> he has to chuckle at so many of these shitty jokes. I wonder if that was in the script or if he just naturally did that. Like, oh, whoa, that was a shitty one. So this hole's disturbing. Uh, we'll be finishing this no matter what. I have to play through to the end of this hole. Notice the dinosaur stuck in tar, the extremely high frog, and the tar in front of us. There's a lot to process here. Let's get this started. Good start. Good start. Let's see if we can get past the tar. should also note, there are multiple uh, catchphrases he says before each hole. Uh, for this hole in particular, Eugene Levy might have said that this hole takes place under tar. Under tar! Yeah, it's a shame we didn't say that because that's that's kind of one of the best things. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there. But if anything, there's multiple things to hear. You can play through this a bunch of times and it'll still uh, you'll still hear new stuff. Danny, the sound effects in this level fucking suck. I'm just gonna fucking say it. Yeah, I hate like, them. It's just nonstop belching. It, it, it sounds just like squishy death. Squishing and belching and... and burbling. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you gotta hit it left. Mm. Eww! 
Never. Never mind. Uh. Will it get by this time? Nope. Uh. <sighs> we gotta finish this hole. <laughs> I wanna... Stroke limit! Fuck off. I've had it up to here with Eugene Levy. We're going to beat this hole. Yes. Hey, hey, hey! We did it! Here we go. Are you ready for some disturbing shit? That's how it happened. Sorry to scream, folks, but that was that was one of the most disturbing things. Yeah, when I first saw that, I wouldn't have expected that dinosaur to rip his skin off. <laughs> that's it's pretty good, pretty pretty good stuff. King Putt's tomb. These pyramids were built to honor the great pharaohs: Pharaoh Tutankhamun, Pharaoh Ramses, and me a pharaoh. Oh. Even okay. he couldn't take that one. That was good. Like, oh, really? Mia Farrow reference? They already know this game takes place in the 90s. Come on. We don't gotta drive it home. Drive, get it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Imagine a Sisyphus pushing that boulder uphill. That for, boulder is a copy of Eugene Levy's Wacky all World eternity. Of Nature Golf. Yep. Imagine a golf ball that you have to push up a hill for an eternity. Bam. That's how you do it. Absolutely how you do it, Danny. I meant, I meant this way. See? It's got to be this way. <sighs> okay, what if they're in the center when I hit the ball? How about that? Is that good enough for you? Absolutely no. not. That makes perfect sense. No, the sense, exact same no. result. <laughs> it's a specific frame between when they're in between one of those two positions. Oh! I did it. Please say that's it. Oh my god, no. We have entered the snake pit. Snake town. <laughs> Snakes as resilient as dogs. <laughs> Damn it! Stroke limit! And yeah, each time you hear him say, Stroke Limit, it gets more infuriating until you're just blinded with rage. It's a great game. You should buy a CDI. Absolutely not, everybody. Hey! Oh! Lucky shot. Gesundheit. Hmm. Okay. Ha. Fine. I don't, I don't care. I don't. I don't care. You already anything. lost your will, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. We're we're on the back nine now, and I've already lost my will to live. <laughs> 